Hello and welcome to the next video in the GIST video series. In this specific video, we're going to see a GIST that will actually generate self-signed SSL certifications for any domain that we pass as an argument. So stick with me to find out. video we're going to have a look and test out the gist that'll actually create us self-signed SSL certifications so without any delay let's get down to work so this one is by the user Adam Runner created six years ago so actually I'm just going to copy paste this in my local machine so as you can see I've got the exact same file over here so actually in order to test this I'll switch to the terminal in here the command that I'll hit is say bash the name of the file and next my domain as the argument so I can pass my domains as the fqdns or I can pass IPs over here as the argument so actually I'm going to generate one for each so I'll say google.com I'll hit enter and this will try to actually generate the SSL files so the script execution is over and as you can see I've got four files over here the cert file the key file and the CSR file which actually we can use like for example in a web server and get our services secured by these SSL certifications also if I hit bash the name of the file and I'll pass an IP this time so so I'll pass my local IP I'll hit enter and as you can see the SSL cert files are also generated for the given IP so these are actual cert files but remember that these are self-signed and the browsers will actually recognize these self-signed certs and show some errors for users so of course these cert files are not supposed to be used in production environments but like for example for internal use like for example securing the connections between your internal services and like so so there are some options that we can change in this script file according to our use case like for example we can change the passphrase over here it is going to get some values out of the slash dev slash u random file and the options for the SSL certificate like changing the US to any country that you want the email address and also the organizational name so as we can see it is using the open SSL tool to actually generate the certificate files and also as you can see over here the generated certificate is valid for 10 years as you can see it has been passed by the days of it and of course you can change this to whatever value that you want which will suit your use case so that's all for this video i hope you found this useful actually i've used it in my work in some cases for some of my services proxied over the nginx web server which will be the topic for my next video where we'll see how to use these generated certificate files and create a secure connection to our backend services through the nginx web server so don't forget to give a visit to my other videos on my channel and also don't forget to like and subscribe and with that i hope to see you in the next videos